Well, the fifth and supposedly final Twilight <laughs> movie, Breaking Dawn Part 2, opens in theaters this Thursday, and Twihards are already in L.A. intense, camping out. No joke. Our own Mark DiCarlo sat down with the entire cast, including Robert Pattinson. Take a look. If enough people know the truth, maybe we could convince the Volturi to listen. Our search began looking for vampires in the most remote corners of the world. My family's in danger. I need your help. So many changes for your character over these five films. Mm -hmm. Is it really, really done, 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 done now? Apparently. <laughs> I a lot of people ask me, so I've heard there's going to be another one. I was like, I don't know. I just hope I, I hope they don't, if they do another one within the next year, I really hope they don't just recast me because that would be really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like in the sixth film, we needed to recast desperately. He was looking so old. <laughs> if you were going to write a plot for a next film, what, where where else is there to go? Do you think? Um, I kind of like the the idea of Edward just having like a midlife crisis and just becoming like a proper vampire again, and killing a bunch of people and getting a Porsche. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bella's got to deal with it. She's just like, he can't stop. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> you just keep killing you. people all the time. You don't understand yeah. me, Bella. <laughs> I've had a bad habit of underestimating. Every obstacle you faced, I think you couldn't overcome. And you just did. I, I think the only film legacy that you can compare these films to, because they're really more than a film, no one would know more than you, they're a phenomenon, is the Bond franchise. Do you see a similarity between these two franchises? No. <laughs> the, I, went, I went to the uh, websites last night, and I thought it'd be cool to get some questions from fans that I could ask in proxy. So I have one from Sophia Arletta. She's 13. She wants to know, why do vampires make good dads? Um, they don't have to sleep, so they never complain about that. It's <laughs> probably one of the main things. Um, the seeing you as a family unit uh, in this film very different than how it started. Do you have any experience with kids? Are you an uncle? Are you a dad? Uh, have you seen children on the street? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a godparent to a few kids. Uh, terrible, terrible godparent. But um, uh, no, nah, I mean I like kids. I like working with them as well. It's kind of I find it quite easy. Um, Why is that? They're just, uh, they're not actors. <laughs> like, truthful, right? Very truthful. Yeah, and also they, they um, um, it's not like they have more fun, but it's kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, they're not, they're, 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 they're kind of, yeah, they're very honest about what they're being told to do. And they're kind of, even when they think it's something stupid, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it forces you to, be to get them enthusiastic about it, which... Uh, it's quite, it's, it, yeah, it's hard to do. Normally. And and really put you in the scene with them, I would imagine, right? Yeah, because you're not thinking about yourself anymore at all. I mean, you're thinking entirely about how to, to not be judged by, the, by a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Get a thumbs down from yeah. someone. Uh, you've been, the movies, the five of these films, over a large chunk of your life so far. How do you think it's changed you as a person and, and as a performer? What's the most surprising way it's changed you? Let's go there. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of just having to do these. I've always been like relatively like self-conscious about even acknowledging that I'm an actor, um, and sort of having to confront, having to play such a specific part to a huge audience all the time. It really forces you to confront a lot of fears about um, about you as a performer. You yeah, yeah. How so? Um, um. Because hmm. clearly they're they're very successful. Oh yeah, right? but you but know. I mean it's 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 because you can't because you there's only a few places you can go with the part. Um, True. It forces you to really think about it, and you you actually have to try and find something within yourself, whereas uh, and actually act. Uh, whereas that's a terrible answer. <laughs> <laughs> have to actually act is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that we know, you have to actually act. We'll leave it there.
really nice guy. And we're going to get thanks, of course, to Mark. Now, on Wednesday, Mark will sit down with Bella Swan herself, Kristen Stewart. And then on Friday, he's going to chat with Taylor Lautner. So.